KPFK. KPFK Rebel Alliance News, Los Angeles. Cloudy conditions will continue for the rest of the day. Wind gusts are up 11 miles per hour here in North Hollywood. Tomorrow's high will be around 62. But when we take a look at the 10-day forecast, we see that next Saturday we will be in 86 degrees. Here is a commentary with Activism in Action with Shankar Singham of Red Star Report. In Shankar Singham's commentary, he artfully paints the portrait of what a dystopian California could look like using nothing but a pre-normalized American color palette, proving that, like most art, to see the big picture, you often have to take a step back and change your perspective. What if California was like other states? Hello, and thank you for checking out another Activism in Action. Today I have some news from all around California. It seems that red counties in California are under a right-wing onslaught, most likely funded by some deep pockets in the GOP. Let me just go through some of the headlines that have recently appeared in California newspapers. Yolo County in Central California has gutted marriage equality and decided to allow the county clerk to use his discretion when issuing marriage permits. Yolo County Board of Supervisors have voted to have the county clerk deny or approve licenses to same-sex, interfaith, or interracial couples. The clerk has a set of guidelines that they must follow. Though those guidelines haven't been made to the public, as such, there hasn't been much pushback yet from Sacramento. The motion is set to take effect as early as April. Yolo County has already banned drag shows within the county lines. Cities in Yolo County include Elks Grove, Dunnigan, Clarksburg, and West Sacramento. Further south, San Diego County Commission Land of Management has voted to ban certain immigrants from purchasing land within the county. In a four-to-one vote, immigrants from Mexico, Central America, South America, China, and Iran are now banned from purchasing and owning land in San Diego County. The rule does not apply to citizens and green card holders. The city of Alturas in Modoc County, California, has decided to join 20 other states in banning abortions as early as six weeks. Currently, most states are at the 15-week time period. Altura has decided to make it six weeks. The city is in violation of state law, and if the measure passes vote in the county, the state superior court will surely strike it down. Shasta County has voted to decriminalize cannabis. Unfortunately, the measure failed to get enough votes to pass. So Shasta joins a shrinking list of states that have cannabis listed as a Schedule One drug, as stated by federal courts. The fear of gangs and violence has Shasta County constituents afraid of the decriminalization. If found with less than a gram of cannabis, one is fined $500 and or 30 days in jail. The county has been a base of operations for the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, in its fight against California cannabis farmers. Del Norte County has lowered the working age to 14 years old. Del Norte meatpacking industry in California is in dire needs of employees, and the county feels that the lower age will attract more undocumented families to the county. Families that are undocumented, too afraid to enroll their children in school, now have a choice to put them to work. Meatpacking jobs pay minimum wage and are constantly in violation of the state's health codes and sanitary requirements. Now, you must be asking, What is happening to our beloved state? What has happened to our freedoms? Why is California moving back in time? Well, folks, it's not. Everything I just reported would never happen in California. But everything I just reported is currently happening in the United States. Tennessee is allowing county clerks to refuse marriage licenses to same-sex, interfaith, and interracial couples. Tennessee has introduced over a dozen laws targeting the LGBT community. Human rights groups have charged the state of being in violation of international human rights standards. Texas has banned immigrants from purchasing land, specifically from China and Iran. Chinese residents are incensed in Texas at the proposal and are currently fighting the measure. Kentucky has banned drag shows that are close to children. Kentucky currently ranks the 42nd worst state economically. And apparently, this ban would somehow help 
the state's financial hardship. Oklahoma criminalizes cannabis. The state could generate billions from cannabis sales, as other states are currently doing. But the wonderful people of Oklahoma, in their fears of gangs and violence, have chosen to remain 47th in worse economies. Just two more states to beat Oklahoma, and you'll be the king of the worst states economically. Arkansas lowers the age of the working age to 14 to attract more undocumented families to the state. Arkansas lawmakers have advanced a bill which would do away with work permits for minors under the age of 16. House Bill 1410 would no longer require kids under 16 to proof provide, to provide proof of age, a description of their work schedule, or parental consent to the State Department of Labor and Licensing in order to get a job. And even if the state doesn't do anything with these permits, it still requires that employers see a piece of paper that says the parent says it's okay for the 13-year-old to have this job. And without it, actually, I would say that they're cutting the parents out of the process completely. And, of course, Florida is currently voting on a six-week abortion ban after promising its constituents that a 15-week ban would be the final change. It hasn't even been a year, folks, and now they're moving it down to six weeks. These laws are currently in effect, or about to be in effect, in the United States, with the LGBT community bearing the brunt of these legal attacks. Every week in the United States, groups of white supremacists gather and chant Sieg Heil and amongst other taunts in front of drag shows across the United States. The assault against the LGBT community will never stop from the right wing. The LGBT community is the biggest threat to the right wing. For in that community, the LGBT community, it encompasses all of us. Regardless of race, ethnicity, or religion, the LGBT community is our representative. Taking out the LGBT community would be their greatest victory. It would be a warning beacon to all minorities to keep your head down and obey. This is the holy grail for the white power supremacists. The fact that the U.S. fails to have a zero-tolerance policy towards Nazi white supremacists who have murdered thousands of Americans and threatened millions more only shows the U.S.'s true feelings of its roots. It is a sobering fact that the U.S. was born of racism. It thrives on war and violence while subjugating the poor and the weak. And at what point do you break? At what point have you had enough? At what point do you get off your knees and stand with communities that don't represent you against this prejudiced assault? Not because you care of their plight, but because you need to protect your own. If you realize that most of the large problems that afflict the U.S. have no bearing in California, and this is how it's always going to be, I would advise you to rethink your position. As Newsom stated, they're coming after you next. Is this the California you want to live in? For those that think the aforementioned laws would not reach California, you are certainly right in an independent California. That's all I got. Back to you. KBFK Rebel Alliance News, Los Angeles.